Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be making a beach bag. Uh, the yarn that I'm going to be using is Catania. This is from Hobby Yarns. I'll be leaving their website in the description box below so that you can go and purchase this yarn if you would like to achieve the same exact look as mine. Uh, you also need a hook. This is a 3.75 millimeter crochet hook. Oh my god, it's getting old, but this is one of my favorites. And since it doesn't break, then I can use it like this. Then a pair of scissors and a dunning needle to weave in your ends. So I am finally in better shape and I'm feeling better after the sickness and we are ready to record some more tutorials. So this is going to be my first one after my recovery and it's an accessory for all the beach outfits that we have been making over the years and i thought this would be a very good idea to do this so this is how the bag looks like i haven't yet gotten rid of the loose ends i'm going to do some weaving in and so that i can achieve something very neat so we're going to start off our project here and we shall keep building i'll be explaining each and every step and let's get started you're going to grab your yarn and we're going to make a magic ring so you do this wrap it around your two fingers like this then you go down and pull through this and hold now you're going to chain five after your chain of five you're going to go into the magic ring with a double crochet chain one one double crochet into the same exact magic ring chain one one double crochet so we are going to keep repeating this until we have a total of 12 double crochets including this as a stitch so we have one two three four chain one five chain one six chain one seven chain one eight chain one nine chain one ten chain one eleven chain one twelve so after your twelve double crochets you're going to pull that tail to close the circle and then you're going to slip stitch you're going to there's this double crochet the second one but you're going to skip this next chain and then into the next you're going to go in there with a slip stitch after chaining one because all double crochets should be separated by a chain one space so this is what you should have we have a total of 12 double crochets separated by chain one spaces so that marks the end of round one now we're going to round two and for round two you're going to slip stitch into the chain one space the next chain one space like that and then you're going to chain four and this counts as one double crochet chain one then you're going to go into that same space with a double crochet So we have two double crochets into the very first space then chain one 
one double crochet into the next space chain one and one other double crochet into the same space chain one one double crochet chain one and one double crochet into the same space so that's what we are doing for each and every space we are making two double crochets into each and every chain one space separated by chain one so we are let me call this a v stitch this one one double crochet chain one one double crochet so we are creating a v stitch into each chain one space and each v stitch is separated by a chain one i hope i'm clear on that chain one one v stitch into the next chain one space so one double crochet chain one one double crochet that's a v stitch then chain one one v stitch into the next chain one space chain one one v stitch into the next chain one space and we are going to repeat this all the way around So I'm in the last space and it's going to get a V-stitch like that and then you're going to chain one and count to the third chain and make your slip stitch. So you should be having a total of 12 V-stitches. So this is the first one, this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and 12. And each V stitch should be separated from the other by one chain. So this is how your work should look like. So we're going to round three. So for round three, you slip stitch into the next chain one space. And this is going to be how we start each row, each round, sorry. So you slip stitch into the next chain one space, chain three. And this counts as a double crochet and then chain one more. So one double crochet chain one and we are going to place a v-stitch into the very first v-stitch so since i told you a v-stitch is one double crochet chain one one more double crochet that means this first v-stitch is finished so you're going to chain one and then into the next chain one space you're going to go in there with one double crochet then chain one, one V stitch into the next V stitch. Then chain one into the next uh, chain one space. You're going to go in there with one double crochet. At this point, you should notice that the spaces that get one double crochet are not V stitches. The V stitches get a V stitch but as long as it's not a v-stitch here you just place one double crochet so repeat that chain one this is a v-stitch that means it gets a v-stitch one double crochet chain one one double crochet then chain one this is not a v-stitch you can see the v-stitches are here and this is just a space in between so that one only gets one double crochet so repeat that all the way around placing one v-stitch into each v-stitch and each chain one space that is not a v-stitch gets one double crochet so we are alternating between one v-stitch and one double crochet all the way around let me speed up a bit so that we get done with round three and I'll show you what to do for round four
so I'm in my very last V stitch and it's going to get a V stitch there but then there's a space here before this V stitch so you're going to chain one and go into that space with one double crochet and then chain one and into the third chain you're going to make your slip stitch so this is what you should have you can see we are alternating between V stitch and one double crochet all the way around so we're going to round four and for round four I told you each row starts with one slip stitch into the next chain one space and we happen to be in the very first V stitch so we chain four which counts as one double crochet chain one one double crochet into the same exact space so we've made our very first V stitch so you're going to chain one this is not a V stitch you can see it's just a chain one space so it will get one double crochet chain one this is also not a V stitch so you place one double crochet there chain one this is a V stitch that means we place a V stitch into the V stitch chain one this is not a V stitch that means we place one double crochet chain one this next one is not a V stitch that means you only place one double crochet chain one and this is a V stitch so we place one V stitch into the space so for round four you should notice that we are alternating between one double crochet and two sorry one v stitch and two double crochets on their own so two two double crochets here in between the v stitches and for the previous row we had only one double crochet in between the v stitches so chain one one double crochet chain one one double crochet chain one v stitch chain one one double crochet chain one one double crochet chain one v stitch chain one one double crochet chain one one double crochet chain one v stitch and we are going to repeat this all the way around make sure each v stitch gets a v stitch that's the easiest way to keep track of the pattern and make sure you don't skip any space without anything each space should get something either one double crochet or a v-stitch we don't skip any space So we are almost coming to the end of our round four. And we've placed our last V stitch here and we have one double crochet, chain one, and then one double crochet into the last space. And then you're going to chain one, count to the third chain and make your slip stitch. So that's how we increase this circle. That means for the next row we are going to have one v-stitch 
and then in the middle we have a total of one two three double crochets I just want to explain the way to increase because I'm not going to go all the way around like 10 times showing the same exact thing so for the um, round three we had one double crochet in between the V stitches for round four we had two double crochets in between the V stitches for round five you will have three double crochets in between the V stitches so the double crochets are going to keep increasing and increasing as long as you uh, continue to enlarge your circle I'm going to go ahead and for this bag actually I did a total of 10 rounds before I stopped increasing so if you want the same exact size as mine uh, you're going to go ahead and do a total of 10 rounds 10 counting from the very first round up to round 10 and then I'm going to be explaining how how to stop increasing and actually shape the bug so let me assume that we have our 10 rounds here let me assume we have this as 10 rounds but this is 4 rounds or let me assume you've gotten the width of the bug that you want because I know there are some people who may want a bigger bug or a smaller bug so let me assume you've gotten the width of the bag that you want for the base. So from here, you're going to chain a uh, slip stitch into the next chain one space as we've been doing at the beginning of every round. But this time we are no longer going to be doing these stitches. So we're going to chain four and that counts as a double crochet chain one and then go into the next space with a double crochet chain one one double crochet into the next space chain one one double crochet into the next space so we are no longer doing increases we want the bug to take shape and start actually uh, creating something that can accommodate some equipment so we want the bug to get off the ground and start moving upwards to become functional we are going to just continue chaining one and going into the next chain one space with one double crochet so when you see your bug curving don't pull on it to make it straight just leave it to take shape because we are the ones changing the shape of the bug so don't pull on it to make it flat because it shouldn't be flat So you're going to do this all the way around and for the actual bug for my bug this was row 11 this is the row that I stopped making the V stitches and started just making plain rounds of double crochet chain one okay so we're going into the last space with a double crochet chain one and then count to the third chain and make a slip stitch that's what we have and you can see it has started looking like a heart something like that and we are going to continue doing this so you're going to slip stitch into the next chain one space and chain Four, which counts as a double crochet chain one 
and then go into the next chain one space with a double crochet chain one one double crochet into the next chain one space so we don't work anything into the stitches we just go into the chain one spaces we are going to repeat this and i'll be letting you know how many rows that how many rounds that i did for my bag remember i did a total of 10 rounds before i stopped increasing now i will be back to show you how many rounds that i did uh, for the shaping of the bag and then we shall work on the straps i'll be reintroducing the actual bag in the next clip all right so now i'm done with my 25 rows all together from the very first round that we did now i have a total of 25 rounds and this measures about um 12 inches and then the width is about 20 inches so that's the total measurement for mine and you're going to introduce your stitch markers you should be having a total of four stitch markers i'm going to be letting you know how to use them i have a total of 120 boxes all the way around my um final round i have a total of 120 boxes these boxes around so i'm going to take off a total of 35 boxes on each side so let me see my stitch marker my first stitch marker is here just place it anywhere you want and now okay let's just go with any place is fine so i'll place it here and i'm going to count 35 so this is the very first one the one with the stitch marker one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty thirty one thirty two thirty three thirty four and thirty five and in that 35th one you're going to place a stitch marker but I'm going to place it while joining it to this very first stitch marker because I don't want to get confused in the end so I have that ready sorry now we are going to <coughs> count 25 boxes from here from this one so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 sorry 25. so this is my 25th box here so into the 26th i'll place my next stitch marker there and then i count 35 from this very first one so one two three four five six So I have my 35th one here, I have that stitch marker, my very last stitch marker here. So I want to make sure that the number of boxes left is 25. From here, yeah so i have a total of 25 boxes here if it's uh not 25 don't worry it's not like much of a big deal if it's more by one or less by one that's okay because it won't even show trust me so after this stitch marker this very last one i'll join it to the box with that 
stitch marker on the opposite side. So we are going to be working the straps at this point. We've finished dividing our piece into several sections. So this is where I left off with the last round and I want to chain one and cut my yarn. Now we are going to start something completely different. Uh, first of all, I feel like this width is so big. This one in the middle. You can either move the stitch markers closer, but that will make the sides very open. So um, what I want to do is starting with this box immediately after the stitch marker i'll attach my yarn into that space and then chain three and then double crochet into the next space like that then chain one double crochet two together but into the two spaces so yarn over pull through two Prepare for a double crochet and then double crochet into the next yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through all. That's how we join the two double crochets. We are doing two double crochets together but into two different spaces so that we can bring this length in a bit. So chain one, double crochet two together, yarn over, insert your hook into the next box, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next box. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through all. And we are going to continue this until the last um, space before the, ch the stitch marker. So after your chain of one, you do two double crochets together. Like that. Chain one two double crochets together remember this is going to just help us bring in that very wide uh, length across but then we are still maintaining the mesh we are trying to maintain the mesh effect so chain one two double crochets together chain one two double crochets together chain one, two double crochets together, chain one, So I'm in the last space before the stitch marker. You can see what this has done. It has brought in this length a bit. Now this is more reasonable than before. So after this, we are going to do the same exact thing on the opposite side. But before we do that, now we are going to chain four. Sorry, chain three, not four. Then turn your work. We are still working on one side. We are not tampering with this side. We are just working on this side. And then double crochet into the chain one space. Double crochet into the double crochet. Double crochet into the space. And continue that.
So after this, you're going to chain one and turn your work. Now we're going to be doing single crochets all the way across. But then we want to place a total of three single crochets in each chain one space. So go ahead and do three single crochets into each chain one space. We are not going into the stitches. One, two, and three, and then go into the next chain one space. And three, one, two, and three, one, two, three, So make it all the way across. So I have my single crochet row and we are going to repeat this row for a total of five rows. So we have our very first one here you're going to place one last single crochet in the space between the two double crochets there and then you're going to chain one and turn and make single crochets in each and every stitch this is just to create a firm boundary for our bag and you're going to repeat this row for a total of five rows you can do it for a total of 10, depends on the thickness of the boundary that you want. I'll do a total of 5. And then I'll meet you back to show you how my bag looks like after that. Alright, so I have my 5 rows and it happened to be on the wrong side. So I'll do one more row to just have the final row, uh, the final row on the right side of my work. So that means I'm going to have a total of six rows of single crochets. So this thickness was very okay for me. If you want your thickness a bit bigger, then go ahead and do more rows of single crochets. And then we shall see what to do next. So this is my very last single crochet. I'll chain one and cut my yarn. So this is the end of the first part. We still have the sides. I just want to lay my work flat so that I show you what I have right now. I have that and then we have the sides. So um, we're going to turn our work to the other side that's untouched and you're going to do the same exact thing that we did here when we were reducing this length to this size so uh, you're going to grab your yarn attach it in this box next to the stitch marker just like we did on the other side so the stitch marker is here so we'll go into the next box, attach our yarn, chain three, then double crochet into the next box, chain one, double crochet two together. I hope you're still familiar with this process. Chain one, double crochet two together, like that. Chain one, double crochet two together. 
and this is going to bring in our work a bit so that it's not so wide on the strap section You're going to repeat this until you get to the box before the next stitch marker. Okay. So we're in the last box. This is what we have. And you can see it's the same exact length that we have on the opposite side. So you're going to chain one, turn your work, and we're going to do the single crochet rows. So three single crochets into each chain one space. Don't forget, we don't go into the, the stitches. We just go into the spaces. I really love this yarn because it gives a very light feel and I think I'm going to be purchasing some more of this from Hobbyam and it's really good yarn for cover-ups so when you finish your three single crochets in your last chain space don't forget to go into the last space between the two um, double crochets with one single crochet and then chain one and turn and we are going to do single crochet rows for a total of six rows just like we did on the other side i'll meet you back when i have mine done So I'm back with both sides ready. You can see this and this. I wish I hadn't cut this, but I had to because it's the same yarn that I'm using on this side. So from here, you're going to make a long chain. These are going to be our straps. So I have one, two, three, four. I'm going to continue chaining and then I'll let you know how many chains that I did for my strap. So I have a total of 100 chains and now make sure your chain is not twisted because we are going to start working in rounds to make our strap thicker. Make sure it's not twisted and we are going to attach it to the opposite corner here. At this point you can remove the stitch markers, we no longer need them. So we're going to attach into the very first single crochet on the opposite side in the corner. And this is what our strap will look like. If you feel like this is too uh, long, you can make it a bit shorter. So after this, you're going to go into the single crochet rows with one single crochet. We had a total of six rows, so you should be having a total of six single crochets here. This is my fourth, fifth, and sixth. So I have my six single crochets. Now into this space, you're going to go in with two single crochets. That was the double crochet row. And now we're going to start working on the body of the bag. But we, we don't want this very big width. So we are going to place two single crochets into one space and one single crochet into the second. So we are alternating between two single crochets and into the next space we have one. That's the repeat all the way to this side because we are going all the way around up to here. So this one had one, that means the next one gets two single crochets the next one gets one and you're going to repeat this
make sure your single crochets are a bit tight because this is a strap we don't want it to be loose so I'm going to go all the way around and I'll meet you guys at this point so we are back and I've made it to this side I'm going to go into the double crochet row with my two single crochets and then when you get here you're going to place one single crochet into each and every row for a total of six single crochets since we had only six rows like that so now we are going to the strap and we are going to go into each and every chain with one single crochet this is going to take a while but trust me it's worth it we want something uh, that is reliable and won't separate in the long run so we're going to go into each and every chain with one single crochet all the way back and we keep working um, a total of five rows six rows whatever you wish so since row one is on the wrong side of my work that means I have to have an odd number of rows so that the very last row is worked on the right side so let me go ahead and work and then I'll show you how to finish up your round okay so we are back I've made it all the way across the chain and when you place your last single crochet into the last chain you're going to go into the very first single crochet that you made insert your hook yarn over and pull through all so that's how we wind up our row we've just made a slip stitch chain one and turn your work so from this point onwards we are no longer going to turn our work we're just going to be doing a uh, single crochet rows without turning for a total of five more single crochet rows because we already have one so we want a total of six that means we shall go all the way around with single crochets and when we get to this point this very last chain you slip stitch into the very first single crochet chain one and then go all the way around and repeat this until the end of your six rounds to create a thickness of your strap if you want your thickness to be a little bit bigger you can go ahead and do about 10 rounds but i'll do a total of six just like i did here so I'm not yet through with the strap, but I just wanted to show you some progress to see how the bag looks like so far. Sorry for the noise. Um, this is what the strap looks like. I'm on my fourth round and it's getting a little thicker, which we want. And then this is the side. So uh, I wanted to demonstrate the second side how to attach your yarn and go about everything because i'm running out of yarn and i have to step out of office in the next few minutes so it's really getting late here it's about like 8 30 pm so you're going to attach your yarn on the second corner like this in the very first single crochet then you're going to attach and make the same number of chains that you made on this side if you had a hundred make a hundred here if you had 80 make 80 here so you'll just make a chain this is just a demonstration so it's not the actual piece so let me say you've gotten your number of chains that you want you will attach it into the very first single crochet on the opposite end with a slip stitch make sure it's not twisted and you'll start working in rounds just like we've done on this side we're working rounds of single crochets and make sure you do the same exact number of rows so I'll meet you guys back when I have the two 
straps ready and then we shall do the final touches on our bag but everything is working out fine and beautiful so i can't wait to show you the finished product all right so this is how your work will look like after both straps but you can notice that your straps are folding in a weird way this is because um this side is tighter than this side on the inside so it's not making a very neat finish so i want to make one final round to correct that and that round is going to be worked on the inside of your um, straps so you're going to attach your yarn at any point We're going to just do one final round of single crochets but on the inside of the strap so i'm going to attach my yarn here you can see this side stretches more this side is loose and this side is tight so we want the loose side and that's the inside of the strap and you're going to make one single crochet into each and every stitch across because I've started from the body of the bag go all the way across Alright, so when you get to this corner, you're going to place your single crochet. So we are done with this. That means uh, we are now going to be working on the strap. And what we want to do is to go into each and every chain. Because this was a chain. So you're going to go into the very first chain with a single crochet. Then the next. Actually, uh, instead of chains, I'll go in between the single crochets. So you see this is a single crochet and this is a single crochet. I'll go into these spaces here. There are those spaces between the single crochets. Those are the ones that I'm going to be working into. And I'll be placing my single crochets. Just to have a very neat edge. Let me do some stitches and then I show you how things are going to turn out to be. Okay, so this is what you'll have on your edge. And you can see this is much better than having this, this edge. Hope you can see the difference. So I'm going to do that all the way around until I get to the other side of the body of the bag. Then I'll place one single crochet into each stitch and then I go to the strap. So I'm going to go like this, all the way down to this. Then when I get here, I'll just place one single crochet into each stitch. And then I get back to the strap. I go in between the single crochet stitches until I get to the point where I started my row. And then I'll show you what that looks like, whether we shall need to do some other things. But I'll get back to you when I get to this point where I started from. So I have made it all the way around and I'm going to go into my very first single crochet that I made with a slip stitch. If you feel like this is okay for you, that's fine. If you feel like you need to do another row of single crochets, that's also okay. Because I know there are some people who prefer very thick straps. 
but this is perfectly fine for me it's not that perfect but at the end of the day it's going to be held with stuff in it so uh the straps are going to straighten out because there's going to be weight in this bag so after this you're going to chain one once you get the thickness that you want you'll chain one and cut your yarn and then you're going to get your dunning needle and weave in all your ends make sure you're weaving all the loose ends all these ones and then uh, your bag will be ready to use I hope you guys liked this tutorial can't wait to see your recreations and I will see you in my next video bye